Each year, school and district leaders across the country choose programs, strategies, practices, and policies to improve students' learning. Although districts and schools have flexibility to choose interventions under the Every Student Succeeds Act, or ESSA, and states' definitions of the ESSA standards may differ, the law encourages school and district leaders to choose evidence-based interventions shown to improve student outcomes. By choosing interventions that have been rigorously studied and shown to improve student learning, district and school leaders increase the likelihood that student achievement will improve. When applying for federal funding and some state-sponsored grants, it's important to be aware of how the federal government and states define the evidence tiers and where to find the information necessary to determine them. ESSA uses four tiers of evidence to rate an intervention's potential effectiveness on improving student outcomes in a school or district. Tier 1, strong evidence. Tier 2, moderate evidence. Tier 3, promising evidence. Tier 4, demonstrates a rationale. A further explanation of these tiers and their definitions can be found in the U.S. Department of Education's non-regulatory guidance released in 2016. When determining the evidence tier rating of an intervention for your school or district, there are five factors to consider. One, the study design. Two, the results of the study. Three, the findings from related studies. Four, the sample size and setting. And five, how the students and setting in the study overlap with the students and setting in your school or district. Because of the fifth factor, the evidence tier rating of the intervention can change from district to district and from school to school. Finding the information necessary to rate an intervention according to the ESSA tiers of evidence is simple. The What Works Clearinghouse, a federally funded database of education interventions, supplies related study results along with ESSA ratings for outcomes meeting tiers 1 and 2, sample size, and setting information all in one place. For an intervention's outcomes to be rated Tier 1 or as having strong evidence by a district or school, it must be supported by one or more well-designed, well-implemented experimental studies meeting the What Works Clearinghouse standards without reservations, have strong and positive findings of the intervention, have no strong negative findings from other well-designed studies, have at least 350 participants in the study sample and have been measured in more than one school or district and have a similar population and setting to that of the district that is considering the intervention. For an intervention's outcomes to be rated Tier 2 or as having moderate evidence by a district or school, it must be supported by one or more well-designed, well-implemented quasi-experimental studies or experimental studies with high attrition, meeting the What Works Clearinghouse standards with reservations, have strong and positive findings of the intervention, have no strong negative findings from other well-designed studies, have at least 350 participants in the study sample, and have been measured in more than one school or district, and have a similar population or setting to that of the district that is considering the intervention. While the What Works Clearinghouse does not currently designate outcomes as meeting tiers 3 or 4, users can find this information in the Clearinghouse using the following criteria. For an intervention's outcomes to be rated Tier 3, or as having promising evidence by a district or school, it must be supported by one or more well-designed, well-implemented correlational study that controls for selection bias, or a well-designed causal study, have strong and positive findings of the intervention, have no strong negative findings from other well-designed causal studies. Interventions rated as Tier 3 do not have a sample or setting requirement and do not have any requirement for having a similar population or setting. Tier 4, or demonstrates a rationale, is a way for states, districts, and schools to encourage innovation and research on promising interventions that do not yet have a research base that meets the ESSA standards but may still improve student achievement. Interventions that are rated in the demonstrating a rationale tier have a well-defined logic model or theory of action supported by existing rigorous research and some effort already underway by a state, district, school, or research organization to determine their effectiveness. ESSA gives priority to the use of strong, moderate, 
or promising evidence in school improvement programs and allows the use of Tier 4 evidence in other circumstances. Check with your state's school improvement and ESSA teams to learn more. To learn more about the ESSA tiers of evidence, check out the handout associated with this video on our website and visit the What Works Clearinghouse to find reviews and ratings of existing research on programs, products, practices, and policies in education. To learn more about RHEL Midwest, check out our website, follow us on Twitter, and join us at one of our upcoming events.